Hello, hello, and welcome. My name is Mini Betrayal, and this is Factorio, episode 42. We are done. Uh, we have a rocket silo, um, which lives over here. Um, we've actually launched a couple of satellites since the end of the last episode, just letting it run. However, things are dying a little bit. The biggest culprits at the moment are plastic and I uh, sorry plastic and steel. Plastic traces back to actually just a lack of oil. Um, oh, there we go. That is a little siren I set up just to tell me when the rocket is about to launch. It's um, there we go. I'll just explain this tiny little circuit network down here. Uh, fast inserter hooked up to a programmable speaker. When the fast inserter is holding a satellite, it sends a pulse to make the speaker do the siren. And it's also linked to these two buffer chests. Um, the inserter will not operate unless these two chests are both empty. That prevents um, the rocket from running while it's still got space science in it, so we won't be wasting any like that. So, um, uh, might hear that siren again, we're already up to 6%, um, but yeah, steel and copper. Yet, I'm over here at the power station, and we're doing alright at the moment, because steel and copper are kind of bad, and we're not doing science, that, um, let's, uh, yeah, let's just do that, why not? Um, yeah, now we've started doing science, I imagine that things will start kicking back into gear again. Oh, actually, that reminds me, I need to turn on purple science production. I turned that off because it was using all the steel and I wanted it for rockets. Anyway, yes, once the... Once the um, once the factory really kicks in, this power is not enough. So, I've just copied it up here. Um, needs a little bit of landfill, which I have not done yet, so let's start off by doing that. Bit more up there, bit more up there. Okay, so if I plop this down again. Oh, still something in the way? Oh, not something in the way, it's just there's the the belt that runs along the bottom is in a different direction to the other one. Let me also put my roboports back in, so I'll start actually building this. Now, it should, in theory, just be a case of waiting for this to be built. Okay, so I've doubled the number of roboports I have. Oh, no, <laughs> not quite. As I was preparing, I put all the stuff I'll need in that box. So, yeah, I should actually go and... Oh, I'm going to get stuck. Actually go and get the stuff from the box. There we go. This is looking better. Let's go and get the rest of the stuff from the box. Mostly just pipes in that one. Um, so we will also want a belt there. And we need some of these guys. You can go there. That one's going to have to have a kink in it. Come on, get in. Um, that one uh, can go there. That one can go there. Okay, let's hook these up to water. Oh. Missing an underground pipe. The other side isn't missing an underground pipe, is it? That would be bad. You know what? It is. So I've been running at 75% power this whole time. <laughs> oh well. Fine. Well, we're d doubling and a halfing it then. Um and on this side as well. Wow. How long has that been like that? 
Yeah, fine. Okay. Uh, let's finish up here. Okay, and on this side as well. Oh! Okay, so I've started doing the next project already. <laughs> You can see on the top left of the screen there, that's what I'm looking to do to help out the steel situation. Anyway, let's, whoops, that's not the right button. Now I am actually going to prioritize that to that one because I think it would be better to have one power station running full time and the other one only running uh, like if I need it, I guess. I might come back and change it, but anyway, so that is that. Um, it'll want to be connected up to the grid, I suppose. Uh, put one there, one there. That should hook it up. Is that all part of the same grid now? Yes, we've got 200 machines. Which doesn't feel right. I should have more than 200 steam engines, surely. Because just looking at that, I've got 160 there. And I know I've got 160 down the bottom, and I'm missing a power pole there. And there. That's better, 320. <laughs> That's where I want it to be. Okay, now. Horrible, horrible problems. Um, feeding blue belts into uh, fine. Feeding blue belts into the burner inserters. Okay, what I'm going to do, just temporarily, I'm going to kick that off, just so I can actually get the burner inserters to fuel themselves. So, you want one, you want one, you want one, you want one, you want one. I might have to come back to you. But you'll want one. One for you, one for you, one for you. One for you. Like that. Those ones are done. And all of them on this side. side there we go that should get everything fueled now let me turn on the other power station again right okay now I do have this up here which I guess I'm starting to build already um, I actually don't want to do that because it will use up all my inserters, which I don't need. No, I don't need inserters. Fine, whatever. But yes, this is going to be my new smelting setup. Uh, it's exactly the same as this, but because it uses the electric ones, it is wider. And instead of having four belts available throughput, four belts in four belts that look like eight out. It is eight in, eight out for both iron and copper, and it's two in and I guess two fifths out for steel, just because of how it works with the timing. Okay, but first we're gonna fix oil. 
Um, so what I've done so far, as I mentioned, I put in a bunch of modules over here. It hasn't really solved it. There's just not enough oil. Um, because over here, everything's run out. Even with level 3 speed modules in everything, it's just not enough. So we're going to go and get another oil deposit. So if I run over this way, this is what I prepared earlier. We have a rail junction here. So let's actually... I'm only going to have the one train running up this way, so this will do. Um, one there, one there. And we're going to go... Oh, apparently there's a kink in it now. Fine. This way. Through that tree. Not enough rails because I put them all in the car. It's easier than getting out and chopping the tree down. Uh, how far north do I have to go? I'm aiming for this deposit. I'm as far north as I need to be. Get in, silly robots. Do, 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 do. I think I might have got the straight line there. Oh, and there we go. Okay, so um, let's. I'll just extend that a tiny bit more. We have pump jacks. Uh, there we go. So one, two, three. Just let the bots help with this. Be a little bit faster. Okay. We also want uh, station kind of stuff. Okay, so let's put down a radar, because I always forget to put down radars. Let's put down a station. This one, let's pinch the colour from here, but it's... Let's try that again. Pinch the colour from oil one, but this is, of course, going to be called oil two. Um, now I've done that, I can immediately get this train going. Now, over here, I've had to be funny. Um, the previous oil station, as it was, didn't have enough space for two trains. If they both man if they both came along at the same time, it would back up onto the main line, and problems would ensue. So this is a kind of train stacker, and then it crosses over. It's not very pretty, but should work. But anyway, if I now tell that to go to outpost oil 2 until full or si or 60 seconds time passed and then tell it to go to bus oil in. I did put one wood in it. That should be enough to get it to the station where it can then fuel itself up with coal. Um, what I did not, it's got 23 coal, that should be enough to get here and back. So yeah, you see it goes around there and then joins the main line. Why is that stopped? I need to put a signal there. That's, uh, it needs to be a chain signal. I know I've got chain signals on me. Down there. I need to put one there and one there. Yeah, that will split these two blocks and make sure the trains can go both directions on the main line at once. Anyway, okay, so uh, pumps, 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 pumps. Um, you know what? I might actually just come to oil one and blueprint that. I reckon it'll be a bit easier. So spin, spin, spin. 
unless I get stuck. Oh, I didn't get stuck. Yeah, that's not. That's all right. Uh, okay. Now I need to hook up all the pipes. Whew. Oh, science. Um, let's do. Um, robot speed. Let's actually use some of our space science. Let's move the car out of the way as well. Okay. Pipe me. Okay, I think that is done. Uh, do I have any speed modules on me? I've got a few. I may as well plonk these in. And I'll fill the rest with level 1s. Just to help out a bit. There we go. And then I have changed my mind. I want them back. I would rather have them in the refineries if possible. Okay, I'm happy to put level 1s in. Not that I have that many of them. That'll do. Alright. So, uh, let's take the train back. In your own time, mate. Oh, am I going to have to tell you to go? Bus oil in. Go. And I'll take power back with me. Damn it. Who put a power line there? Oh, I can use it. Okay. Yes, yeah, so that's now radared. Uh, all of them are pumping. You know what I forgot to do, though? Actually hook it up to... Uh, actually hook it up to the station. Back we go. Ah. 
Okay, and where shall I take this from? Let's take it from here, out to there, to there, to there, to there. Boom. Okay. It's only filling the one. It's not even filling the one tank at the moment because it's all going through, and it's it's filling quite quickly actually. Oh no! All of the pumps are still pumping. Right, that's enough. Take me home. Stop. Take the car home. Right, take it home in my pocket. Take it home. Okay, and now we actually have some crude oil in the system a little bit better. Um, let me swap these back out for speed modules. In fact, what I'll do, I'll have some speed, some productivity. Okay, how are we doing for petroleum? 1.1 thousand. So why are not all of these working? This is just going to be a weird fluid mechanics thing, isn't it? There's 1,000 in that tank, 700 in that tank. You know, I will probably regret doing this. Nevertheless, I am going to do it. I'm going to pump. It's not really working. I'll I'll, I'll see if I can pump directly out the tank. Um, so if I put the pump there with a pipe there. This one will have to connect up in that corner instead. That going that's going better. Until the petrol runs out of course. Okay, it's gone back to a crude oil problem. Um how's this guy doing? Oh he's on his way back. That means he either spent sixty seconds there or is full up. Looks as though it was the sixty seconds. Let's have a look at the actual station, see how things are filling up here. Um, things are going alright, it's just not an amazing oil deposit. Okay, um, things are looking a little better though. Okay, so for the smelting arena, uh, which is the next big project I have, um, I'll get to work on that next episode. The main reason I haven't done it this episode is because... Um, where does Purple Science live? It's over here. I've just been building up a supply of these. So, I will see if I can get any more of them. What am I waiting on? Red circuits, and that is probably waiting on plastic. Oh yes, because I also turned off red circuits. That's not going to help. <laughs> um, how's the rocket doing? Have a quick look. 75%. Yeah, we're not going to see that this episode. So, yeah, next episode we'll um, get to work on the smelting area. I don't know if we're going to finish it. There's an awful lot to do. Um, until then, I will say thank you very much for watching, and I will see you again soon.